What's up and welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're going for a test drive in a 1968 Pontiac Le Mans convertible. This one does have a 455 under the hood with powered steering, some upgraded valve covers, and uh, looks like an upgraded pulley there on the power steering. I do hear a little bit of a lifter noise right here. I believe that's a lifter. It sounds like an exhaust leak, but I'm gonna go ahead and say, since it sounds like it's coming from that valve cover there, that's gonna be what it is. Those can be adjusted out, and uh, we're gonna get to know this car here. So we're gonna be taking it down the road. Anything that I see, I will point out. That's why I do these videos. I just walked around this car and did a flaw check on the panels, interior trunk underneath, and now we're going for the drive. My main website is maplemotors.com. Be sure to check it out. You can get financing and shipping. And we have 100 detailed pictures available along with all of our rides that are here for purchase. We constantly update that too, so if one of them sold, we'll put it on the website. Be sure to check that out. Hit subscribe for daily content. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, gonna look around the interior on this one here. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works? They've made a nice custom console here, missing the insert. Looking across the dash, it's actually nice and clean. Not all messed up. Showing 89,000 miles on the dash here. Go ahead and check that walk around video and you can see the top going down. Got a aftermarket set of gauges in here. Interior's pretty clean. It does have some little spots here in the back. I haven't seen any rips, but it does have some imperfections there. The carpet's decent, but you see the red? It's supposed to be black. It's got some sun fading, probably from where they've had that top down. Let's get her started up. Start up pretty good. 100% uh, need to get some fuel. That thing is on E. Lower motor it is working. No AC on this one. Oil pressure looks to be a little bit low, but just tap, tap the gas. She shoots way up. Uh, engine temperature is in good position. I don't think the bolt. I don't seem to be hooked up back here. So they don't have the battery uh, gauge hooked up on it. Okay. I'm going to hit the road. Anything I see, I will let it be known. That's why I do these videos. Let's roll. All right. Get my seatbelt on here. Fits pretty good. Nice and snug. We're going to take off down the road. That belt up there is a little squeaky on the power steering pump. I was talking about it in the walk around. It was a little bit loose. Not super loose, just enough to squeak. Speedometer's coming up, Morgan. This car has a little bit of slack in the steering. See, we're not turning. Turns there, turns there. There, there. Nobody's behind us, I'm gonna hit these brakes. Brakes pull to the right. Like drop scene is he think I'm drunk or something. Alright. Is the kick down hooked up? It's not. But you can ship down. Got 
put the little piece back in here that says park reverse neutral. It's not in there. See, it's still pulling. Actually, it stopped. These are drum brakes. As soon as you instantly touch them, they'll pull to the right and then stop. As you can see, I wasn't holding the steering wheel and we were still going straight. Um, both turn signals are popping up on the dash. Gas gauge is dead on E. We have to stop you and get gas. Oil pressure is right around 10 right now at idle. Of course, when you give it gas, you're just touching it, it's at 20 now. It's at 30. It's at 40. Still got oil pressure. We're good. And the brakes do stop good. But just like drum brakes, though. Hear that belt squeal? I tell you everything about these cars so you know what you're getting here. Uh, we don't have a repair shop or anything like that. We buy these cars and we tell you what's wrong with them and then we sell them. We're gonna check the gas gauge. I'm gonna say it works. It's on E right now. A lot of the cars come in through transport and they have to be at a certain level when they put them on those trucks. So that's why I never have gas when I do these test drives. This is the first time I've driven this ride. So let's get some fuel. Just got some fuel in this car. I did notice that the little nozzle on the gas tank was a little bit loose. I got up under there, pushed it back on. It needs a uh, seal to go in it, but it isn't leaking. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So your, your uh, nozzle is behind this tag here. And when I was looking at it, I noticed it was, it was a little bit loose up in there. So you definitely gonna wanna put a seal on it. Uh, the gas tank itself is in great shape. And we should be pretty good, so. But I did put $20 worth of fuel in it. Um, and let me uncover my brake light before we get pulled over for that, something crazy. This is a magnet with a rubber piece on the back. Perfectly safe for that chrome bumper. Let's check out this gas gauge. It was on daddy, it was buried. Still is right now. Come on up. Oh yeah, gas gauge is working. It's making its way on up, a little slow, but it is working. Let's keep this ride on the road. Oh yeah. pressure's the same. Engine temperature's right around 200. That's okay. We've been circling in this parking lot for a while. Um, so it'll go back down as we're driving here. Now I'm just gonna check with my phone. 
make sure y'all could see real well. Going through my routine here. <laughs> Those shifters missing a few pieces too. Might be time for an upgrade there. Definitely a cop. He's actually got his back lights on. I don't know what they're doing. Okay. I'm out of here. <laughs> what a great day to be out riding around in a convertible. This is awesome. Pretty good day of work. There's two more convertibles at the lot that I want to take out today. Hoping I have time for both of them. This one feels pretty good. I'd probably give it a seven out of 10. It's not too bad. Fairly smooth. Let's uh, put her in low gear here. Nice little tire kicker. She came out a little sideways there. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, these convertibles get a ton, a ton of attention. I probably look super goofy, look at me. Riding around in a convertible with a GoPro strapped to my head. Hey, if you want to see what I use, <laughs> look below in the description. I'll give you all the links to all my stuff. There he goes. How much you want to bet he's showing out for the convertible? I might be right there. I don't know. If you ever come to Maple Motors, you will notice just walking around the front lot, anybody that passes, they're dropping down gears, they're revving up. I'm sure you've heard it in the background of my videos. People go crazy when they're driving by up here which is fine with me it's a good source of entertainment that power steering belt still loose on us ain't it i'm gonna try to get me a cool picture of the way it's sitting here there's my next one i'm gonna do that mustang next all right so thumbnail time thumbnail time guys if you're interested in this car or any car on the lot Go to maplemotors.com, look at the detailed pictures. If you need financing, I have that available. I can also ship these to you. The shipping company, they're as simple as giving them a credit card to ship your card across country. It's pretty easy. They're great to work with, and I've been using them for a while. Well, that's a cool picture. It's got the Mustang right behind it. You gotta get the flags again. Oh, no. I can't leave that like that. Power lines caught our flag. Okay. Okay. Come on, Mr. Wise Guy. There we go. Now let's get that picture. I went to uh, Lowe's the other day to get a flag from my house and they had an American flag and on the package it said made in China. I could not believe it. I mean, I could. These definitely say made in USA on the side of them. That's that Sam's Club flag. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, hit subscribe, also share and uh, hit like. That helps me out quite a bit. I'm doing a social media kind of like experiment here check out that video 
It's right here in the middle of my page. It says Social Media Experience Maple Motors. It'll tell you all about it. And uh, hopefully y'all play along. That'd be cool. I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna do that Mustang next. And then I got a teal green Mustang over there. If I can get all this done in two hours, it'd be amazing. But let's do it. See you later.